Anger, you claim the defendant has already been placed on child support for your daughter, Chloe, and therefore there is no reason to administer a paternity test. Yes, Your Honor. You've dragged him to court to order he pay the support he has been neglecting. Mr. Babbitt, you've petitioned the court to order a DNA test because you are 100% certain that you are not her child's father and claim to have proof to support your case. Yes. Yes, Your Honor. The court must decide if there is enough evidence to administer a paternity test. But first, Ms. Hanger, what has Mr. Babbitt done for your child? He's done father? absolutely nothing for her. He's a spoiled, rotten, arrogant b brat, point blank. He won't even admit that she even looks like him when she's identical to him. Just because you frame her up there and put her next to my family, that's not actually a DNA test. You know what I mean? That's not actually... Okay, you'll, get, you'll get it. Don't and worry so, about it. Right. Mr. Babbitt, you say you're certain you're not. In all actuality, I mean, like, no, I don't believe it. Okay. You're blind, dude. You're blind. That's point blank. You're blind. A medical a professional at all giving me the opinion that you were pregnant would have been good, too. But I mean, like... And that's... so, wait a minute, well, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Just no. let me understand this situation. I don't yeah, know yes, how you nothing. two even ever had sex. The way you two have... are acting. I mean, goodness, how did you end up on child support? Oh, I defaulted, I suppose, as they say, because um, I didn't get served. They dropped papers off on my porch, on my grandmother's porch, and... No, I show the paper, seen the paperwork from them. It's, uh, Jane Doe signed it, but that legally states that you've received this paperwork. It, it says that Jane Doe has. But they said as long okay. as somebody signed for it and saying that you were going to get it, you were automatically But they involved. said that? Or did you say that dropping the paperwork off, not talking to you? No, they showed me the paperwork of somebody signing it. Okay, so there was no coincidence that after you they showed up said, on my I porch... I asked them. And then when I go get so something to drink So did you get the paperwork, later, Mr. Babbitt? I got paperwork on my porch. Did I get paperwork from any person? All right, no. so you got paperwork on your porch that said what? That there is a paternity thing for a DNA test for whatever Chloe, Chloe, yeah, for Chris. Did you show up for the DNA test? No, I didn't think it was happening. I couldn't find it anywhere else, or and I couldn't get any information. I had wrote people. him previously and told him, "Hey, it's coming up. You, you need to show up there because it was a court ordered one." So the bottom line is there there was an attempt to notify you, and you did get the paperwork that said show up for a DNA test as it relates to baby I've Chloe. also seen paperwork saying I want a free iPod. That doesn't mean it's true. I mean... All right, <gasps> you can be a smart mouth if you want, but you the one on child support. Yes, ma'am, what do you have I have here? the proof showing the paperwork stating that he is on child support. Let me see that, Jerome. So this is paperwork that shows that you are supposed to pay $272.50 per month in child support. I actually never got the paper. Here's the paperwork that I got. It was to my restaurant, and it was stated, it says you're supposed to be paying child support for Chloe Hanger. Didn't give a middle name, didn't give a social security number. On the birthday panel... They're not going to give you her social security Why, number. Why, if I'm the father? Miss Hanger, I want to understand what he's saying, because I want to understand how a grown man gets paperwork from a court that he doesn't honor. You felt like you were... It was like... A, uh, something fraudulent? Well, it, well, yeah, if I would've got a letter that had it, like, postmarking on it, you know, that went through the mail, that would've made me feel a whole lot better about it. But I didn't. It's because so, they personally served you. They weren't gonna put it through the mail to say, oh, I lost it the, or never well, received it. Right, well, because the mail would just, you know, register it and actually be proof of going and have a tracking number and all that. But that's beside the point. Um, so, you got the paperwork. Did it identify Ms. Hanger as the mother? Yes. And you did sleep with her, right, at some point? That is true. And so, if it had her as the mother and you had slept with her at some point, you didn't say to yourself, well, just in case this is real, I should call about this, this could be serious, I could maybe have a child? Just in case it was real, I figured it'd be filled out, so... So the bottom line is you just decided to disregard and the paperwork... And wait for the actual something like this to name the father by default, and now you are responsible for child support. They if told me father, because... Or daughter. I'm sorry? If it's my child, I will be. You're correct. Well, no, you're responsible for it now because you were named the... They uh, gave him 30 days after he did not show up for this DNA test. They gave him 30 days to appeal it, and he never did. I can still appeal it. No, you can't. Not after that. Your name's on her birth certificate now. I didn't sign it. Mr. Babbitt, this has nothing to even do with the birth certificate. This has to do with the fact your failure to appear caused you to be named the father by default. Did I look confused about that? No, you look confused, period. And you look like you got a smart mouth. And you think you know too much, but what you should have known was to bring your butt to court. Yeah. Then you wouldn't be here. Thank you. Now, you can get smart with me if you want to. Let me tell you something, Mr. Babbitt. Fun. Let me tell you something.
something, Mr. Babbitt. <laughs> you can get with smart with me if you want to. You're gonna lose every day of this week. <laughs> I'll give you a minute to get yourself together because you're not gonna clown. Because it's a baby here whose father's in question and we're gonna get down to the bottom of it. I'm doing you a favor of trying to understand your position. But every time I ask you a question, you have something smart to say. We're not getting... Now, hold on. Do not question what I think you look like. I'm here to ask questions. You're here to answer them. I'm here to give you the answers to the questions you have as it relates to paternity. Now, whether you have animosity towards Ms. Hanger or you feel like someone tried to railroad you, that's your personal feelings, but what you're not gonna do is take them out on me. I'm sorry, I was just trying oh, to tell the no. truth. no, yes, you are sorry. How did this relationship begin? Was it committed? Were you also sleeping with other people? I met him through my roommate. He'd hung out a couple of times, Played video games, listened to music, all that stuff. And then everything went on from there. So the bottom line is you two were intimate. Yes. At some point. Yes. Did you use protection? No, never. All right, Mr. Babbitt, do you think at the time she was sleeping with you that she was also sleeping with someone else? Yeah, the other roommate. Yeah, because he was super jealous when I first showed up there. I was going to tell me about this. What made you believe he was sleeping with her? He made a comment about how when she gets mad, walked around looking like a bulldog. And then the other state, well, wow. We said it, you know what I mean? And then the other thing was talking about the size of her female anatomy. And it, 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 it lined up, and he did. I this mean, is new to me. I've never heard this. I don't know how exactly right you, you can is... even... Uh, let's see how we can say this. There was an identifiable piece of her anatomy, and it was described. And then when you had a sexual relationship with her, that description was confirmed. The... And so you felt to yourself, they probably have been... Right, considered. probably, yes. Okay. When you found out you were pregnant, you told Mr. Babbitt because that was the only person you were sleeping with? Yes, I had not slept, slept with anybody else prior to him for a year with my ex-boyfriend. So you had never slept with anybody I had else but Mr. Babbitt stand. during that window of Months. time? Months. Well, you were sneaking out in the middle of the night doing something. I was not sneaking you out can't anywhere. The, crawl person, over the only me time and I'd get out of bed up. is to go to the bathroom. Yes, and you wouldn't come back for an hour. No. So you would no. be asleep? and then she would climb out of the bed and not come back for an hour? Yeah, I mean, sometimes 30 or 40 minutes, but it's a long... No. And that's when you thought she was also she was... with the roommate. That's, and that's yeah, because I start piecing together, I'm like, well, he said no. this, but that could have been a past relationship thing. Maybe he's just being jealous, but then her sneaking out. No. And it wasn't exactly sneaking out, but not coming back. It just kind of starts building some questionable situations The only time here. I would leave my bed when he was asleep is to go to the bathroom and come back. Okay, so the court has ordered a lie detector test yes. to determine if, in fact, Ms. Hanger was sleeping with the roommate, um, and we will have those results shortly. Moving on. During the pregnancy, did you immediately say, that's not my child, or did you participate? I was wanting to get evidence of it, like a, a pregnancy test. Now, she did take a little, I guess she took one. I never saw her take one. She presented me with a pregnancy test that was positive. But I was like, well, you know, for a dollar, how about you just go get another one? That way I don't think some ghetto hood rat stuff's going on and we can, you know, get this worked <laughs> out. And she objected to that. We went down to- I did not object. I said we didn't have the money to go get it. When I told him to go and get it. was a dollar. The dollar was right I there. I told him to go and get it. And he didn't have any money. I didn't have any money. We mm. were together for three and a half months in the house. So at this point, you're not believing, Mr. Right, Babbitt, that, that be, she's that really even pregnant, or you're not believing that the baby is yours? Uh, I didn't even believe, you didn't she believe was I was pregnant. pregnant. All right. I went to the doctor's appointment with her to get the ultrasound done. We're sitting there, they're doing this ultrasound, and the nurse is sitting there, okay, we're gonna find that heartbeat. And then the nurse is kind of going over her stomach. It wasn't an ultrasound, it was a fetal Doppler. Two different things. Well, anyway, it's supposed to detect at six weeks and you're seven and a half, and the nurse told me no, so that was my medical she advice. She said it was too early to probably tell no, you. No, she did not. You were supposed to go to the next appointment, and you took off to Florida. Wait, let me get this. So when you were at that appointment, Mr. Babbitt, and it was hard for her to detect a heartbeat... At all. ...you said, okay, she's not pregnant. Yes. And then that's why you went on ahead and went out of town, because in your mind, you thought... I was thought it, yeah there was no pregnancy, well, but... Well, for one, I am a bigger... I'm a, I'm a bigger lady. It does take a little bit harder to detect things when you're a certain amount of weeks pregnant. So you were instructed two weeks later, yes. come back. Yes, and he left two days before that next She appointment. wasn't instructed on anything while I was there. She may have been instructed, but that evidence was withheld from me, too. Ms. Hanger, when you had the baby, you, you were there by yourself. Mr. Babbitt was not there? No. 
All right. This is a Did you let him know? Did yeah, you? I let him know. I had to go get induced. Yeah, you're um, like, I'm having and then I got tonight. And Wait, no, I'm not. No, tonight for real is the night. No, no I not. got induced. And then after a week of that. I got induced. Did you? A week before my due date. I was there for 12 and a half hours. They couldn't get my water to break, so they sent me home. But I wrote him that first inducement telling him I'm in the hospital, and this is what he proceeds to tell me. I have evidence of the, the letter right here. Let me see that, Jerome. So you tell him, I, I'm in the hospital and it's really gonna happen this yes. time. And you write, I'm in the hospital, and Royce Babbitt, the defendant, he writes back, that's great. Maybe they have you committed because you have to be crazy if you think I'm coming up there for a baby I don't believe is mine. And he also tried <laughs> to tell me that I stole a baby because I never proved to him that I was pregnant. No, what I thought could have happened is as crazy as you are, you might have been up there doing something in the hospital, not pregnancy related, and then saw a new, See? like, here, I'll give you 10 bucks, let me take a picture with the kid, or your kid, this way I can Facebook it. I am in a hospital bed. I had a cesarean. I had an emergency C-section the second time I got induced. Up until this point, from the time you went to Florida until the time you had this baby, you all weren't speaking, he wasn't involved? No, we started semi-talking on Facebook only. Yeah. And he had me come pick him up in December. I'm 32 weeks pregnant to come over to my house to talk in person. It's the first time I had seen him since he took off. Thought you were he a liar. laid his head on my stomach. He asked me what I was naming her and stood in the middle of her nursery. Yeah, I walked in and there. And that makes like, you I emotional. Why, why, what why are you feeling emotional, Miss Hanger? What are you feeling? <laughs> that my daughter has to go without her father because I went through that. You brought a witness today give you a moment to compose yourself. I'd like to hear from your witness. Sir, please stand. State your name, sir. Roy Babbitt. Mr. Babbitt. Sorry. You are... Oh. Royce's uh, father. You're Mr. Babbitt, Royce's father. Correct. And you're standing with the plaintiff. Because Chloe is our granddaughter. He'll take in anybody's kid. And, and you you do here. believe that? <laughs> evident. Yes, I truly believe that. And you brought evidence. Yes, I'd like to see yes, that, sir. sir. What is it? It's a picture of uh, my baby picture with Chloe. This is a picture of... Of my baby picture. Of your baby picture Correct. on the left and, and Chloe. Chloe's baby picture on right. the right. Plus, <laughs> plus, Chloe has so many tendencies, looks, and mannerisms as, as Royce does that, uh, you know, it, it's... It's really hard to deny. We've, we've gone through this with the first shot, and, uh, you know, it's just, he needs to step up to the plate. You know, he's got an older boy, and, and we've gone down this road before, and, and you know, he needs to... The first and, thing, and, step and, up, and I moved one, my wife the in. one here we are with Chloe. We're in, and, my son. And, uh, you know, he just needs to, he needs to step up to the plate and take care of his children. All right, well, the court issued lie detector tests. Mr. Babbitt requested it, and we did so, and we have those results. Jerome, may I have the envelope, please? This lie detector test was issued in order to see if, in fact, there is enough evidence to warrant this court ordering a DNA test. Ms. Hanger, you met with a licensed polygraph expert with 20 years of federal law enforcement experience. You were asked, did you have sexual intercourse with your roommate after March 2013? You said no. The lie detector indicated deception. That can't be, no, something's not right with this. I swear on everything. I did not touch my roommate. That is on my daughter. That is on my family. There are notes in the court papers, I remember reading them, that refer to a one night stand. Do you remember this one night stand? Yeah, it was back in August. It was, I, did I carry my daughter for 18 months pregnant? No. So I did not. It was in August, and he was drunk, and we didn't even finish. All right. The court has determined that there is sufficient evidence to warrant uh, a DNA test. I am going to order both of you to submit to that testing, return to this courtroom, and we will have the results. Are we clear? Yes, mm -hmm. sure. Court is adjourned. <laughs> We're back in session in the case of Hanger v. Babbitt. Uh, you all have gone and submitted to the DNA testing, and we have those results for you. Jerome, the envelope. Here you go. Thank you. Before I read these results, if either of you have any words you'd like to say, truth you'd like to tell. A drum roll. 
No? All right. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics, and they read as follows. In the case of Hanger versus Babbitt, when it comes to 17-month-old Chloe Hanger, it has been determined by this court, Mr. Royce Babbitt, you are her father. Oop, I guess. All I want is an apology, Royce. Huh? All I want is an apology for her. I don't owe you any apology. Definitely you owe me an apology daughter, for denying Royce. her. Come on, dude. It's, I it's told you child. from day one. Yeah, it's my child now, but it wasn't then. I mean, I can't it it child then. since conception. All right, let's not go into this nonsense because it just doesn't matter anymore. It doesn't. That was the past. Let's just be honest. This is a lesson to women and men alike. When you engage in activity that produces children without using protection, you can end up with a child by a man that has this response. Miss Collins, you say that after losing your brother Jordan in a horrific crime, two women came forward claiming he fathered their children. You recently confirmed the paternity of one child, but you say the mother of the second is nothing but a gold digger, and you and your dad deny your brother is the father of her two-year-old son, Princeton. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Ms. Wiggins, you say Ms. Collins' brother fathered your son, and you intend to prove paternity today. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Ms. Collins, why do you say Ms. Wiggins is a gold digger? Because she popped out of nowhere. She just said that my brother was her child's father, and she assumed that we had money. She said she thought we had it like that. Your Honor, I didn't um, pop out of nowhere. Uh, they have seen me before uh, previously at a, okay, uh, at a birthday party they had. Um, I was there. Um, I didn't say anything to them. They didn't say anything to me. Um, I felt the tension and I felt the vibe from them that they already had doubts. And that's why I didn't say anything to them. My brother never claimed her baby. The first time we met her, she said she was pregnant and she disappeared. Your Honor, I didn't disappear. Um, I was still in contact with Jordan. I just d wasn't in contact with them. I mean, why would I be? So what was the nature of your relationship with the deceased, Jordan Collins? Um, when we met, it was back in December. Um, we met on a train. He um, gave me his number. Um, at first, he asked for my number, and I told him no. So then he gave me his Your number. Your Honor, she didn't take his number because she had a boyfriend at the time, and she didn't want to get caught cheating. Um, I didn't have a boyfriend at the time. It was an ex that, um, we currently was, had an apartment together. We was on a break, so I was not cheating. It was an ex. So this was an ex, but you still lived in an apartment with him? Yes, we had an apartment together. We was not sexually active, um, at all. It was about a month and a half in that we was on a break. That's when I met Jordan. All right, and so how soon after you met him did you find out you were pregnant? About two to three weeks after. Two and, weeks. And that, in that time frame, me, uh, again, me and my ex was not had a sexually ex, so we wasn't my having My brother sex dealt at all. with a lot of <laughs> and she's just another female <laughs> that... Okay, let's, well, let's be respectful. I realize, I, trust me, Ms. Collins, I do understand the pain and the frustration, but let's be respectful. You say your brother dealt with a lot of different... Female. Women, females. He had okay. sex with many females. She was just another female that he was sleeping with. Two weeks after she slept with him, she came saying that she was pregnant. Pregnancy does not work like that. You can't just have sex with somebody on Wednesday and then two Wednesdays later, you're pregnant. Okay, so we gonna prove this. We will prove That's this That's why we're today. here. Oh, exactly. That's exactly, exactly why we're and here. And so two it weeks. is your testimony, Ms. Wiggins, that two weeks later, you were pregnant and you came and told him I'm pregnant. Yes, it was about two to three weeks, I found out. When we first... He told me that I was gonna um, get pregnant the night of. Um, so... About a week later, that's when I took the pregnancy test, and it was very faint. So about two to three days later, that's when I, um, I took another pregnancy test, and it was it said two weeks. Then, right then, I knew that um, my ex wasn't the father of my child. Jordan was. So, Miss Collins, you know it's your testimony what you believe she was already pregnant when she met your brother. Yeah, she was probably already pregnant by her ex-boyfriend that she was living with but claimed not to be having sex with. She could have been having sex with multiple people. I don't know I how many men she I was wasn't. sleeping with. I don't know that. He de messed with a lot of females that had sex with multiple men. And they all knew he had a girlfriend at the time. He did he not had have a no girlfriend. girlfriend at the time. Me and Jordan was together almost every single day. 
Not to my knowledge. I've never seen her but one time. And so when did you find out? How did you find out Miss Wiggins was even pregnant? That's when they showed up at a birthday party. And then the first thing they said was she was pregnant, which I told them then, we need a DNA test because of the type of females he deal with. And so what did your brother say when you immediately said, upon introduction, and we're gonna need a DNA test? He said he understood because two weeks ago, they had unprotected sex. Someone you just met, you had unprotected sex not, with, and now I'm you're saying sure. that... He's the baby father. No. Uh, when we found out that I was pregnant, Jordan was happy until his sisters got in his ear about me not being able to get pregnant within those two to three weeks. Were you trying to get pregnant? That's what it seems like. Why are you trying to Why get pregnant? Why would I try to get pregnant by, by someone, someone you just met? Exactly. exactly. So, it You're just having happened. unprotected it, sex it with him. It just happened, okay? So, what it does it sound happened. like? A freak. So, who was with you during the pregnancy? Was Jordan there? Okay, so, Did... at the time, um... Me and uh, my ex, we were not together. When I first found out that I was pregnant, about two months later, that's when me and Jordan uh, moved in together and got a house together. That never happened. Um, anyway, me and him moved in together about February. When we moved in together, things started to get rocky, being that his sister was in his ear about me not being able to get pregnant within those two weeks. So, um, one morning, we had a big fight about him doubting my um, baby and him being disrespectful for bringing other females to the house. Um, so other we actually have had a big fight. So that day, I moved back home, which was about two and a half hours away, and I never seen Jordan again. If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. You was out there. Well, what did your brother he, express to you, Ms. Collins, he concerning told me he his doubt? He understood that it doesn't just work like by having sex with someone one time, they end up pregnant two weeks from that day. So he didn't believe the time frame added up. Yeah, he didn't think it he added up. He expressed doubt immediately. Yes. And so, unfortunately, he passed away before Princeton was even born. Yes. So he never had the opportunity to pursue his doubt and get the DNA test on his own. Correct. He didn't get that chance. How long after he passed did you hear about the baby? She had the baby five days after my brother passed. And so how long did it take for you to find out? Um, we found out because the funeral and stuff was coming up. We found out probably within the next week. Princeton is now two. Yes. Why have you not been able to get this resolved? She was with her ex-boyfriend that she was with. So when they started having problems, then she came back and she wanted us to be involved. When I left and went back home, that's when me and my ex got back together and uh, started working on things. But did this ex, did he ever believe he was Princeton's biological father? No. She tried to put that man on child support. Yeah, I... I the reason why, I did it out of spite. Oh. So what's Is the that what these uh, young girls out here doing out that's of anger? That's exactly what they're doing. Because that's foul. Yeah. So I'm that's just going to tell you right now, that's your foul. Your Honor, that's reason to doubt. You're putting another man on child support trying to, but you come back and say you're still only 90% sure that my brother's the father. I'm so a where's thousand, that 10%? I'm a thousand percent sure, and we're going to prove this And today. we need the proof then. Exactly, okay. Well, you testify that she had a DNA test with another man. Yes, she had a DNA test. Did if she ever men... give you evidence of that other DNA test? No. Who is this other man she DNA tested? The Her ex? boyfriend You had another DNA test, Miss Wiggins? Yes, out of spite, I was angry and mad that he didn't want to be with me and my child anymore after 11 months. Um, my child was 11 months when he decided to part his ways, being that he wasn't the father. Why do you have a man DNA tested when you know he's not the biological father? Because that means that you're just wasting time, which leads me to believe you could be in here wasting my time continually exactly. saying that you weren't having sex with your ex during the same time you were having sex with Joy. The only reason why she I got did him DNA that... tested because she was sleeping with multiple men and she doesn't know who her baby father is. We're gonna prove this today. But Miss Wiggins, I know who is my baby no, Miss Wiggins, are you now going back to Miss Collins and her family because this man didn't want to be with you and your child? No, right. that was over a year right. ago. Don't want to be with us this anymore. He that left was over you. Now a year he doesn't ago. want her, so now we're the second choice. Don't let us be the second choice. You should have came to us from the beginning.
Ms. Collins, you brought a witness. I'd like to hear from you. Ma'am, please stand. Step over to the podium. State your name for the court. Kedra Lowe. Ms. Lowe. Yeah. What relationship are you to the Collins? Well, I am the mother of Jordan Collins' child. And me and Jordan Collins, we were friends with benefits. Oh, so it was your child that was previously Test. tested. Correct. And that it was, was determined child. that Jordan was the biological father. Correct, yes. What do you know about Jordan's belief concerning Princeton? Well, Ms. Wiggins' um, son. Before he died, he did tell me that he had doubts that he was the father of of the baby. And like the week, the week of his death, that weekend he was planning on going up there to go get a DNA test for the baby. Exactly, DNA. Test. Right before he died, like. And he always accepted your child yes, to be his he, own. He did. He actually named my child. So you submitted a photo of your child, Josiah, to the court. Yes. And this is Josiah on the left and Princeton on the right. So if it is determined that Princeton is Jordan's biological son as well, your sons would be half-brothers? Bro yes. Brothers? And do you believe that Princeton is Jordan's biological child? Your Honor, I'm not sure. They, they look alike. Um, I'm just here just to express what, how Jordan felt. Um, to me in the conversations that we did have um, concerning the child, because that was one of the main concerns, because he did want to be there for the child if that child was his. Understood. A big if. Thank you so much for your testimony. You may be seated. Mr. Collins, you've heard a lot of testimony, and I know this is very difficult. I'm yeah. very sorry for the loss of your son. Thank you, ma'am. I understand you all were very close. Yes, you were. I know, sir. He, he was my youngest child. <laughs> Which I had nine of them. You were very close. Did he ever express to you, <coughs> sir, anything about the child? And... Never did. Never said anything about it. But never mentioned the relationship. Never mentioned that the baby was on the way. He never didn't have any relationship. He, he didn't mess with all the women that he could get. It didn't make any difference to him who it was. So do you believe Princeton is your grandson? I'm not going to say he is. And I'm not going to say he's not. Because as I said, he, he messed with everybody. That baby doesn't fit in with the rest of my siblings. All of us, we get together, we all look alike. We have the nose, the eyebrows. There's nothing there with him. My brother has a unibrow. Your Honor, what does skin complexion got to do with anything? I didn't say anything My about baby his complexion. could have came out I said nothing about his complexion. That I'm talking about his nose and his she eyebrows. She didn't mean say, she didn't say eyebrows, anything about skin. Lip, and anything. wasn't your other ex-boyfriend light mean skin? She must have light about skin him not being the father of my but child. But Ms. Wiggins, she was actually talking about bone structure. Exactly. And features, which people do often discuss. However, that still doesn't have any real bearing on, ultimately, what the DNA has to say. Jerome, I'm ready for the results. <laughs> These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics, and they read as follows. Because there wasn't a blood card available to test the DNA of the deceased Jordan Collins, we performed a DNA test with his surviving parent, Charles Collins. With that being said, the results determine if there is a viable relationship between the child, Princeton Wiggins, and Charles Collins. In the case of Collins versus Wiggins, when it comes to two-year-old, Princeton, Wiggins. It has been determined by this court. The percentage of relatedness between Mr. Charles Collins and Princeton Wiggins is... Ninety-nine point nine eight percent 
You are related. <laughs> that is your brother's son. That is your grandson. You are related to that beautiful, handsome little boy. That's what we came here for. I apologize if I hurt you, but we're gonna be there for him. Ms. Wiggins, I know this is emotional for you right now. <laughs> Would it be okay if Ms. Collins and her dad got to meet their nephew and grandson in my chamber? Yes. I think it's time that Princeton gets to have the love of his father's side of the family as well. 